I started the recycler about three years ago. I originally arrived in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania to work with the United Nations. I did that for about a year and I saw a massive opportunity to create sustainable jobs and, and, and clean up the environment. Recycler is a waste management and recycling company. We do recycling for large companies where we separate recyclables from non-recyclables. And then we look for ways to add value. To One of the ways that we've done that is using organic waste and using maggots, insects. Those maggots eat the organic waste and then we use this as a high protein feed. These larvae, they can eat around twice their body weight per day. When they lay eggs, they can make around 500 eggs. I'm the director of Minelli Tanzania Limited, which is an aquaculture business based in, in Tanzania. How we're linked up with the recycler is that we're gonna take the formulated black soldier fly comprehensive fish feed and trial that in our ponds and recirculating system. We'll be doing that, comparing it to controlled studies and really maximizing the performance of that feed before it gets onto the open market. Aquaculture, and quite specifically in the East Africa region, is very much in its infancy at the moment. Uh, farmers are really struggling to produce fish efficiently, and one of the main things that they're lacking is cost-effective feed. What we're going to be able to do is provide farmers access to feed continuously year-round at an affordable price. One of the big problems within the region is malnutrition. Um, childhood development is hampered, education is hampered. People aren't getting access to the vitamins and minerals that they really require to, day to day. Um, providing more fish at a more affordable price to the general public will actually help improve that at each stage. With Black Soldier Fly, the, the basic concept is about taking 10 kilos of waste and producing one kilo of dry maggot product. That maggot is then incorporated into a complete fish feed and it will make about 25 to 30 percent of the entire fish feed. The other components being maize, maize bran, rice, sunflower, other ingredients. Once you've got that complete fish feed, depending on the type of production and species you're producing, um, you will have a food conversion ratio of about one to one or up to two to one. It will take one to two kilos of actual fish feed, complete fish feed, to produce one kilo of meat. I'm passionate about closed circles, finding ways to take something that is being discarded or wasted and make it, make it into a new product and make it into something that, that has economic value. And also creating jobs. You're not taking from another person's job, you're creating jobs that, that don't exist, that they aren't actually there in the first place animal production, livestock production, or protein production as something that the world requires to be done more efficiently. It's using a huge amount of resources currently, and it's not being uh, accessed by as many people as required, uh, which is what brought me to Tanzania in the first place, to try and work with local communities to develop protein production and improve protein consumption.